Hi there, Lee Griggs, 3D artist at Autodesk. I uh, just want to cover how to create these Bifrost renders using point spheres. Generated a long, uh, some strands and using different fields to create different uh, formations of these spheres. Like so, I'm going to start off by opening the Bifrost graph editor. Just drag it down to the bottom here, create a graph. So we're going to start off by creating a sphere that we can grow the strands from. Create a sphere. Scan it up to 100. We want to scatter some points across the sphere. Connect the sphere with the geometry scatter. So we should get something like this. And to create the strands, we're going to need a vector field scope. Connect the points of the scatter into the probe geometry to create the strands. So set strands profile, size profile, vector field scope to the strands, and a on strand settings. Strands to the strands. see anything because we don't have anything connected to the vector field of the vector field scope create a fractal turbulence field that's the vector field so we're starting to see something here three to enable display flow lines for the vector field scope and increase that length something like 20 the effect is large enough we're going to use a scale field to, to increase the uh, effect so noise field to the scale field and the scale field to the vector field and we can scale this up like 40 this interesting looking okay so here's our point by for a so far Got a strand set up. Now I want to distribute some points across all those strands. Get point position. Connect the strands to the geometry. Then we want to construct the points. And then finally create the set point shape. will default to disk. We want to change that to uh, sphere. Let's connect the output to outputs the output. So now we see we're getting points distributed along the strands. So zoom in a bit. Now if we wanted less points along those strands. We can go back to the vector field scope and reduce the samples per second. Five, maybe ten or fifteen, maybe. And we need to increase the scatter points. So at the moment it's a thousand. We can go quite high with this, so something like forty thousand. So I'm getting the spheres more compactly dense, getting much more interesting um, shapes we can uh, render. So that's the fractal turbulence field. You can always play around with some of the settings. Also found the fractal noise field is quite interesting. Uh, results. So, this field to the scale field. Let's reduce the scatter number just for speed's sake. Let's get to the fractal noise field, you can always increase the magnitude. 
You can almost get these kind of landscape formations. Frequencies. Random, less frequency. Solid looking. Just have a play around with those settings and get something cool. So in this case, we can see that the spheres to pack to pack together. So go back to the effect field scope, and then you can always produce the flow lines sub of a second. So maybe one you can see the spheres a bit more clearly there. Yeah, have, it, have an experiment, try different fields, um, say fractal turbulence field and fractal noise field uh, have worked best for me, but you might, might find something else. Okay, so finally I've moved the camera into a section that I liked. Uh, I've lit the scene with a skydome light with a HDR map to the color. And if you select the Bifrost graph, go object details, control F. You have to see the distance from the camera. So I the render cam, go down settings and type that number into the focus distance once you've enabled the depth field. Uh, you might need to tweak the focus distance depending on exactly where you want it to be, but uh, once you've done that, uh, it's noise imager, so it's that one there, just to clean up some of the noise for IPL rendering. And vinyl shading with a ramp RGB connected to the base color of the standard surf shader. And set the type to custom so that we can connect a utility shader, which is basically randomizing the colors using the primitive ID color mode. Uh, the default is color. So if you set it to primitive, primitive ID, you should remember to set the shade mode to flat because we just want pure color as the input. And select the fractal turbulence field, and then you can always just go down to the seed and change that. Pick something that we like. And that's it. Have fun. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.